It says Nathan Thomas, roughly six and a half years, 76 months, 322 weeks, 2,330 days. That is the amount of time we have loved one another. As a little girl, I dreamed of meeting the man of my dreams, a man who would encourage me, love me, support me, and to help me deepen my faith in God. A man just like you. To my bride on our wedding day. From the first time I saw you, I just knew I wanted to be with you. I just couldn't believe how beautiful you were. I remember struggling to get my words out to ask you out. Can you believe that was 2,330 days ago? Since then, we've been through so many ups and downs together. One thing remains the same, and that is we have each other, and that will never change. I am so thankful that Reed has such a caring, thoughtful, supportive, and loving person to spend the rest of her life with. Tonight may be your wedding night, but tomorrow starts the real adventure. I want you both to remember that all good adventures eventually have some unexpected twists and turns. Marriage will not always be fun and easy. There will be some really hard days and messy days, but those days too have a purpose and will only help you to appreciate and love one another even more. I am so proud of the both of you and I love you both. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Barrett. We are here in God's presence to witness the marriage of Reed and Nathan and to ask God to bless them. We are called to rejoice in their happiness, to help them in times of trouble, to remember them in our prayers. Marriage, like our creation as men and women, owes its existence to God. It is His will and purpose that a husband and wife should love each other throughout their lives and give themselves fully to each other in undying love. Read it slowly and relentlessly worked her way into our lives. To thank the once young girl who put cat stickers all over my truck window, I never did get those off. Would one day become close friends and then someone I would proudly call a sister is remarkable. I am so grateful for all you've done for me and my brother. Reed, I know, you know, I know uh, the architect of this grand day can't be with us, but I'm sure she's smiling down on her little girl. And probably wishing she could fix Nathan's crooked tie. <laughs> I used to tell people I am only single because God is writing the perfect love story for me. I never knew how much my life would change when our paths crossed at Darby Kids Christian Child Care. In that fall of 2014, a solid friendship that would have developed in, into my future love. You are my person, the one I love, my best friend. You have been there to support me through all good times and bad times, all the ups and downs, and have helped me because the person, because of the person I am today. Here we are moments away from what will be one of the greatest moments of our lives. I cannot wait to see you walk down the aisle. In case I'm speechless, I want to make sure to tell you how amazing you look. I'm excited to see where our journey takes us in the future. I love you and we'll see you in just a few moments. And I can't wait to see where and how God uses us. I love you, Nathan Thomas. And just remember, <laughs> your brother says I'm expensive. <laughs> marriage and the covenant of marriage. We are so thankful for that today. God, I'm asking you and your blessing to be on both Reed and Nathan, not just today, not just tomorrow, but for eternity, for the rest of their lives. I ask God that you will just be near them and before them. We give you praise in all things. What Amen. therefore God hath joined together, 
let no man put asunder. May the grace of Jesus Christ abound unto you now and always. Amen. Nathan, brother, you may kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Perry. the best um, appreciate everybody being here to celebrate tonight with us so enjoy yourselves and wish wish the two of them the best and uh, I think they're golden so thanks uh, thanks everybody for coming with us you did not need this grand day for me to call you a sister I've called you a sister for a very long time now you are the only person I know that could finish her masters, plan a wedding, and buy a house. And you did it all flawlessly with elegance, grace, and let's say minimal frustration. I'm so incredibly happy for you. And I know that if you keep Jesus at the center of your marriages and lives, you will be blessed. I love you both very much. And as dad would say,